Alright, g'day guys and welcome back tonight to another Realmworks video. Today we're going to do a uh, much requested video on how to use the bulk CSV import tool. Uh, this is a fantastic tool that's been made by the community, uh, it's been made by Farling. Uh, thanks mate, this thing is absolutely incredible. And basically the nuts and bolts of it is that it allows you to take a CSV file, aka a spreadsheet, and import the information into Realmworks in a way that's you know super quick and efficient. Um, for anyone who's not familiar with a CSV file, it's effectively a, a very raw text format file that you can open in Microsoft Excel, for example, and it basically just creates a spreadsheet for it. Um, and the idea being is that we're going to have one column of information um, for each sort of snippet in Realmworks that we want to enter information, and the tool will basically import and create a, uh, a single topic for every line in the spreadsheet, and it'll basically fulfill that, um, that topic and all the snippets in that with the other columns in the spreadsheet. So without further ado, let's jump over and have a look at it and see how we do this. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to need to do is get your hands on a copy of this. You need to get your hands on a copy of the tool. Um, and basically the, the best way to do that is to go over to the uh, Lone Wolf Development Forums, um, get into the Realmworks discussion uh, sub forum and basically do a search in there for the, uh, what is it called, the Realmworks CSV import tool thread. And you can see here that there's a link to it, instructions on how to use it. Uh, and there's some screenshots of it in use. Um, there's also some really good commentary in the uh, the, the replies there, um, especially if you go through and look for the comments from Joe. Um, I think you'll find that the, you know there's been some really good use of the tool, and um, we're, we're certainly starting to go into some more advanced features, um, such as how to you know do bulk import of pictures and things like that. So have a read. Um, there's certainly a lot to learn. But all right, so what we're going to do now is I've got this program installed. I've got it running here. All right, I've got Realmworks open. I've created a, a, a new Realm for the sake of doing this video. And what we need to do is we need to prepare some content for this tool. So Microsoft Excel is the tool I'm going to be using. If you don't know how to use Microsoft Excel, probably YouTube will help you out there. Um, and what we're going to do is just going to find some random information. So. I've found a, a table of random NPCs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to import all of these straight into Realmworks. So, um, dun, 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 dun. I'll see if this copies in the way I want it. Didn't actually test this before I came in, so you know, anything could happen. There we go, fantastic. Um, so what I've done there, by the way, is just right-click paste as um, basically text only. This just you know, help strip out anything that would have come over from the website formatting. And you can see here we've got our, uh, our table and you can see we've got our information. So perfectly simple. Now, where you source your information from, you could make it your own, you could do some Googling. Um, there's some really good resources out there. Um, you need to think outside the box sometimes though, uh, and I'll drop a hint, uh, JSON format, J-S-O-N, that format is used by a lot of applications. So um, there's some character creation tools out there that use it, for example. Um, there's some websites out there that use it, for example. And what you could do is you could, you know, find yourself the uh, the content for whatever it is you're looking for uh, in a JSON format, and then basically um, take that to Google and do a search for a JSON to CSV. Um, format um, program and it'll basically it'll change it from JSON into CSV allowing you to open it in here and allowing you to take the next step. Um, when doing that though just be aware that you can you know you can get some messy data and sometimes the first step of this is actually cleaning the data up. I'm not going to run through teaching you how to do that because you know for some cases that's you know five or six years worth of Excel training um, to do the really advanced stuff um, but you really need to be looking at your data and you need to, to solve your, your specific issues with your data, your, you know, using Excel yourself. Um, that's a really advanced topic and it really depends on how dirty your data is. Here I'm starting with clean data, so it's not a concern. If you're entering it yourself, you'll have clean data. It, it's really up to you. But anyway, what we're doing here, this table here is going to create this many topics. We're going to have 20 NPCs. All right, these are going to be their names. These are going to be their race, their appearance, whatever. And we're going to go through and set it up. 
So the first thing we're going to want to do is basically come in here and have a look at all of these. All right, so we've got name, race, appearance, whatever. And what I want to do is make sure that in my realm, I've got a uh, structure that's set up to basically accept these. So NPCs should go in people. So we're going to open up an individual. And we're just going to basically have a look to make sure that everything we want is going to work. So name is obviously going to work. We're going to have a name. We're going to have a race, which we've got there. Um, keeping in mind that we do have options in the race that are basically defined, right? So do we have a Yon T, Pure Blood? Yeah, it looks like they've actually used the official names. We've got Lizard Folk, yep. Oh, wow, this, this lined up very well. Have we got a Triton? Yes, we've got a Triton. It's almost like the person who made the data is using Realmworks. Actually, well, we did spend a lot of time getting this right. Um, so I think we're good there. So I'm just making sure that every single option in here is available in here because otherwise we're going to have a conflict. Uh, appearance traits. So we can basically bring that in. That's fine. Uh, there's appearance traits there. Background. Uh, we've got background information, we've got a historical details there, that works. Uh, bonds. Have we got bonds? I think we do actually. We can stick it in additional details. We can stick it in the summary. I'm just going to colour that one because I might come back to it. Bonds and flaws. Yeah. I think we might actually make some for these. Ability traits. Yeah, we can stick that in there. Oh, we need a low ability and high ability. So we're actually going to make those. I'm going to run you through this whole process, all right? Um, so let's... Personal life. Oh, let's just do this. All right, so it doesn't contain, the Hero Lab template doesn't contain everything that I want it to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Manage table, tab, sorry. We're going to open up Categories. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a copy of the individual um, one here. I'm going to create a duplicate of this category. I never like to make copy, uh, make changes to the originals. I like to make my own. Um, I'm going to call it an NPC. Um, most of this is going to remain the same. And then what we're going to do in here is we're going to have this information added. So where should this go? Methods. Probably not methods, probably profile. Here we go, motivation and faith. So what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to basically come along and add a snippet type below this one. Uh, we're using a hybrid tag or text. Uh, so that's actually using a drop down. We don't need that in this case. We probably just want a, not a tag, but a label. No, we're going to call this one bonds. All right, I'm going to create one below it called floors. I'm going to do the high ability and the low ability, so I'm going to do that in here. All right, then we've got interactions with others. <clears throat> I just clicked that then. Yeah, we'll 
do that in here. Obviously, you can put these things wherever you want. Alright, so that's done. We'll save that. Now the reason why we've done that is we, we need to create an export from Realmworks in order to get this to work. Because the importer tool is going to request a structure file. So what we've done is we've basically created a, a topic, uh, a category, sorry. Um, now we're going to export that out. So we're going to go share, we're going to manage exports. I'm going to go and export Realm structure only. All right, so I don't need to really make any changes here. I'll just do a full export. That's now created, it'll now reopen in Realmworks. And what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna save this file, which is now ready. Uh, where can I go? So I'm just saving that basically. Um, now I did make an error there. I have saved as an XLSX. So we're gonna just redo that because we need to save it as a CSV file, okay? So now it's a CSV file. Now it's got there. Now CSV files won't contain all of the information. Um, and just so that you are aware, um, if we have a look at the CSV file in a notepad, this is what it looks like. All right, so you might find some of these on the internet, but what you can obviously do is right click and open with, and you can go Microsoft Excel, and that's where you'll get the nice spreadsheet version of it. All right, so we've created a, a CSV file. We've saved it as a CSV file. That's now ready. We've gone to Realmworks. We've made sure that we've got a, a category structure defined that is basically going to be fit for purpose for the CSV file. In other words, we've got a, a category that has a, a um, snippet for every type of piece of information we want to come in. We've exported that. Now we come over to the CSV import tool. All right, and this is the quick bit, to be honest. I'm going to go load structure. I'm going to load the one that I created. All right, that's now ready for me to use. And we're going to go load CSV file. I'm going to use my import test.csv. All right, you can see here that this brought in all the information from that spreadsheet. That's ready. It's basically uh, categorized the columns up here. All right, and over here we've got the format structure ready to go in. So we're going to make an NPC. Here it is, all right, you can see if I came down to my individual, that's there, but this is the, the custom one I made. And that is the reason why we did the exporters. We needed to be able to tell this program what we wanted to use. All right, there we go. So we've now um, set that up. And what we can do is we just basically drag uh, the name and put a tick in there. Uh, the race, I'm gonna put it into there. If you put it into here, it'll just come into the text. If you put it into here, it'll tell it to actually use the tagging system. Uh, appearance, I'm gonna put it into here. Background. All right, then we had bonds, floors. Uh, the high ability and the low ability deals interactions with others mannerisms and talents all right so that's now set up now you can do all sorts here so i'm going to actually go um just for the sake of it what was this, this was the reddit npc list all right that's my suffix um you could have a prefix there as well um 
I do wonder. No, that's fine there, NPCs. I was just thinking about the plural name because I've been doing so many monsters, but just ignore me on that one. Um, all right, and we can obviously add a parent in here um, if we wanted, but we don't need to. Um, and we're basically now good to go. All right, we can create the import name down here. So this is going to be the, um, what did I just call this? Uh, the Reddit NPC. All right, we can now generate this. Put it in the same place. All right, that's now created the export file. That easy. All right, um, and obviously you can do this with lots of different things. Um, I do recommend you do like one type of thing at a time. I haven't tried two. Um, you can mess around with pitches, you can mess around with break lines, but um, as I said at the start of the video, if you want to get into the really advanced features of this, I recommend you go back to the original um, forum thread have a good read there because there's really is some educational lessons you can take from that anyway we're saved we're now good we're now ready to go over to realmworks and do an import so we're going to go share we're going to go import we're going to go select we're going to go to our import test there is the ready uh, reddit npc list we'll double click that we can turn our, our advanced options on i don't want to save it back up because you know this is a test realm I'm going to hit import. Here comes the import. All right, Realmworks has completed the import. Uh, this has popped up to let us know that it's added that tag import. Um, from that file, that's just how the uh, the import process works. We'll close that. Realmworks should now reopen. All right, there we go. And as you can see, we've got all of our NPCs. You can see that that um, suffix came in. You can see that all the information came through. Uh, you can see that it's basically designed to turn everything on to visible to players. So you can. Uh, basically come along and turn that off if you don't need that um, and yeah how quick was that now I'm going to tell you right now that I've done 300 page books with this um, in a week probably even less uh, depending on the source of your data and how dirty it is um, the real time sink we've found is basically in doing the the data cleanup once you get your data in an easy list uh, it's just so quick and easy to, to bring in very large amounts of data into the tool with this um, I know when this tool first came out, the, the devs really sort of freaked out because someone had actually figured out how to do the whole Pathfinder SRD in one hit. And it was, you know, a significant risk to the servers if everyone imported that at the same time and started updating, uh, uploading that all to their, their links. But um, yeah, amazing tool, guys. Amazing tool. Um, I, I can't stress enough how much you should learn how to use this because this really opens up the capability of Realmworks. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who fear the data entry element. I mean, obviously we're all waiting for the content market, um, which we have heard is is on its way. Uh, apparently Pays have made some, some workings on the, um, on the API issues. So hopefully within the next month or two, we'll start to see some movement on that. But in the meantime, and for all your custom data requirements, this is just incredible. Um, so there we go, guys. Uh, that is basically, um, yeah, that that is how to use the import tool. Um, it's certainly very useful and it's certainly very powerful. I hope this proves useful for you guys. Um, if you have found this video useful, please do subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you would like to chat to me further, you can always find me in the Realmworks Facebook user group. Um, there's a good couple of hundred of us hiding in there, sharing data and all that sort of stuff. Um, apart from that, have a great day and I will speak to you on the forums.